Hello, I am Taryn Detoy and I manage the training department called Learning for Life at Cape Mental Health. In this video, I will speak about the support needs of a child with severe and profound intellectual disability, focusing on the aspects of care and dependency. Would you agree that every person needs support in order to live their lives and reach their full potential? Think of your own life and what support you receive every day from family, friends, colleagues, and your community that helps you to achieve things and overcome challenges. In the same way, children with severe and profound intellectual disability also need support from others and from their environment in order to overcome the different barriers and challenges they experience and to make use of their abilities, resources, and opportunities. The purpose of support is to ensure that these children can fully participate as equal members of society. Providing them with the correct support ensures that they are able to engage in the activities and tasks that they need and want to participate in. The support they receive needs to be tailored specifically for their individual needs, needs to be age appropriate and provided more frequently and over a longer period of time. With this necessary support, children with severe and profound intellectual disability can develop higher levels of functioning and independence. So how can support be provided and by who? Support needs to be provided for the child with severe and profound intellectual disability at different levels, within the local community, the wider community, and the social system. These levels of support form the circles of care around the child, who is in the middle circle. The local community includes the family, carers, healthcare professionals, and special education and care centers. The wider community includes friends and neighbors, businesses and organizations. And the social system includes policies that are developed by government. These circles are all connected to each other and affect one another. Just as a stone that is dropped into a dam sends ripples across the water, when the ripples reach the edge of the dam, they come back again. So the influence of these circles on each other works both ways. What about the child's influence on these circles of care? The child with severe and profound intellectual disability has an influence on the circles of care around them. The child can affect how the family is organized, what the role of the carer is, what their role in the community is, as well as influence changes that are needed in government policies. The child is also affected by what happens within all these circles of care around them. For example, they are affected by government policies, attitudes that people in their communities have toward them, and the type of care they receive from carers and their families. The impact that these circles have on each other can be both positive and negative. For example, a child and their family can have a positive influence on the community by creating better awareness of the needs of vulnerable people in the community. On the other side, negative attitudes in the community can isolate and the child and their family. We need to work towards ensuring that interactions between all circles of care are positive in order for the child to receive as much support as possible to learn and develop, to participate in society and to be included. How should support be provided to the child? It is important that children are provided with support in a way that is respectful and dignified for the child. It should provide the child with choices and ensure their self-determination. When offering the child support, we cannot make assumptions about what they want, but we should be sensitive to the child's needs and preferences. For example, when supporting the child to hold a toy to play with, make sure the toy is the one that they want to play with, and not the one that you want them to play with. What kind of support do children with severe and profound intellectual disability need? There are different kinds of support that they need, such as emotional, financial, physical, learning, social, and legal support. Emotional support needs include the need for love and to be accepted for who they are. Financial support needs include resources such as assisted devices and disability grants. Physical support needs include the need to be assisted when eating a meal. Learning support needs includes making use of smaller classes so they can have more supervision. Social support needs refer to the need to be included by others, and legal support needs includes their need for policies to be drafted and implemented concerning their equal rights in society. Each of these needs can be met by various people within the circles of care around the child. For example, the learning and development needs of the child can be met by their carers, their peers, family members and neighbours. Learning doesn't only take place at school. The child can learn in any environment, and we need to make these environments as stimulating as possible. It is important that the various individuals and role players that form the child support network work together and use their different perspectives and skills during all stages of the child's life. 
not all children with severe and profound intellectual disability need the same amount of support for the same amount of time. Many children may need constant and high levels of support on a permanent basis, while others may need less. They also may need more support to participate in some activities more than others. If too much support is provided, the child may not have the opportunity to try to learn and explore the activity or action for themselves. If too little support is provided, the activity of the game may not work and the child may become passive, frustrated or disinterested. Their support needs have to be assessed carefully by the relevant role players to make sure that the child does not get any more or less support than they need. In closing, I invite you to look closely at how you support the needs of children with severe and profound intellectual disability and make sure that you provide the right type and the right amount of support in such a way as to uphold their rights and dignity and ensure that they can participate as independently as possible as equal members of society. Mm -hmm.